Yes, how does this view look, huh? It's a little different. We are going to review this fine, fine Tank 3 very soon, but for now, we're doing something a little different. And yes, it is pronounced fine, fine officially. Now, you see those boxes over there? Let's check them out. If you've been wondering about the studio design, you have my wife to thank for the whole color scheme. This nice blue-white combination was her idea. Let's see if we can pull this out with one hand, one arm, because we are strong that way. Oh look, it's a container. Just using one arm. And so this is pretty much what each of these boxes contain. More boxes inside. See what this one's got. Got the Fine Fine SC1. Now we're not talking about this one. A couple of wires. Oh, there you have the Fine Fine K688, which many of you love so much. The Fine Fine AM8 as well. But the microphone that started it all was the Fine Fine K669B, that tiny little juggernaut of a mic. This K669B redefined what you could do with 40 bucks for a mic. But that mic came out like more than five years ago and it has been overtaken by so many microphones such as this Mayono DGM20, which has built-in active noise reduction. And yet, if noise canceling were not a concern, I would actually choose the Fine Fine A6V over the Mayono DGM20, which is a similarly priced condenser microphone without features, but it sounds better straight at a microphone. And so that's something that's so exciting to me about these two mic companies. Fine Fine tends to prioritize great sound straight at a microphone. And this Fine Fine AM8 is a perfect example of that. Every Fine Fine microphone that I've reviewed so far and that I know of, including this Fine Fine AM8, is only 16 bit. 16 bit to me is kind of like the audio equivalent of videos full HD. That means not quite ultra high res, but high res enough for most people to be happy about the quality. So all the footage you've seen so far was recorded in glorious 4K, but this section right here is in 1080p. So I dropped the resolution, but is this a bad image? You know, you got nice lighting over here, pretty good composition, colors are great straight out of camera. I don't think this is a bad image, and that's kind of how Fine Fine microphones feel. Still recording in 1080p? So what I've noticed is that Fine Fine's philosophy as a company is great sound quality straight out of microphone above all. On the other hand, what you're about to see is what Mayono mics feel like. You're now viewing this video in glorious 4K, but the lighting, how is it? it to me, it seems a bit lackluster. Just compare it to earlier. It's a bit more like this. That, I would say, is like a fine fine. And this, I'm using a tinier light over here. This is kind of how a Mayono feels. Mayono mics like this Mayono PD200X have always had the advantage of being great on paper. I'm not saying Mayono mics sound bad, period, per se. Uh, this Mayono PD200X is one of the better sounding Mayono mics, but I feel as though there's always something missing. Either the frequencies are too harsh somewhere, the lows don't sound quite as full as I'd like. You know, there's always something that you kind of have to tweak in post, at least in my opinion. But again, they make up for it by having features like 24-bit resolution, which raises the ceiling for how good the audio could sound. Again, you have your active noise cancellation built into microphones, and you have mics like the Mayono PD200X and Mayono PD400X that have their own companion software that let you upgrade your audio in real time. But you know what? I can't help but feel more excited about these mic companies because they're starting to think outside the box. This here is the Fine Fine SC3 mixer, and it is Fine Fine's very first audio interface. And I'm just so proud of how many features Fine Fine was able to pack into this tiny little mixer. I think this is a sign of the things to come because Fine Fine has already figured out the straight out of microphone sound formula. And if they're already building audio interfaces, then the natural progression is to work towards 24-bit audio at the very least. And for Mayono, they built this masterpiece. This Mayono PD400X is the result of Mayono's 
years of research and development. It's got a high pass filter, presence boost, EQ, compression limiting in the software, but most importantly, it sounds incredible straight out of microphone. Now with both of these budget microphone manufacturers beginning to compensate for their weaknesses, I can't help but feel excited for the things to come. Fine Fine and Myono have really pushed each other in a healthy way that's been beneficial for us consumers. Now, I'm curious, what are you guys looking forward to with each of these companies? Because I have a strong feeling that both of these companies might see this video because I have been working closely with them this isn't sponsored by the way. And if they do see this, there's a good chance that they might see your feedback and who knows, they might implement that. And I'm curious, which company philosophy do you resonate with more? Do you prefer Fine Fine's approach of having great sound straight out of microphone at the cost of post-processing potential? Or do you prefer Myono's approach of having decent sound straight out of microphone and having more post-processing potential? Leave your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.